Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I go by the name Konanani Maparapatua. If you're new here, please please do subscribe, share, like, and comment. And if you're coming back, Queen King, what do you do? Welcome back home. Welcome back home. Welcome back home. Mm, I'm looking good though. I'm looking good. So guys, um, as you guys saw by the title of the video, today I'll be doing my makeup. Plus, I'll be telling you guys tips on how to look expensive and good on a budget in your 20s so without wasting any time let's just get straight into the video as you guys can see that i'm already done with my eyes <laughs> and everything if you want me to recreate this look please let me know in the comment section because um i can do it you know i can do it for you guys so guys i don't know what i'm going to name this video the title of this video i don't know but we'll be talking about looking expensive uh, on a budget in your 20s okay so i won't be telling you guys which product i'm using mm. so guys so guys there's no excuse i mean there is no excuse for you to say no i'm broke i don't have money in order for me to look at the part no sweetie there's no excuse if we have mr price if we still have your jet if we still have your small street if you still have like your pep store then was what was the reason what was the reason anyways guys the first thing that i can tell you guys about is that when you when you're looking expensive in your 20s okay in this era of time in our time they take you more seriously you like it or not like who's going to take you serious if you didn't iron your t-shirt come on really like your shirt they take you serious when you're looking at the part so we'll start by confidence guys you need confidence in your life you need confidence okay you can look like you can wear the same outfit as bonang or fit leonte but if you don't have confidence then clearly that outfit is wearing itself you know and you can get someone who's wearing like not like a proper outfit but then when they having that confidence hi man confidence when it comes to to everything it counts when it comes to when you're applying for a job it counts um for example maybe they say um they're looking for skills that you don't have they're looking for um a qualification or maybe they're looking for like um four years experience and you only have two years experience apply that shows only confidence at the end of the day they're still going to teach you the how to do the job so confidence it's the bomb.com you need confidence if you don't have confidence then <sighs> what are you still doing and i know it's not easy for one to like um if, you, if you're someone who doesn't have confidence it's not easy for you just to wake up one day and be like voila i'm confident no there are a lot of um videos here on youtube to teach you how to be confident and everything if you know that oh i'm not i'm not confident because confident because of um i've gained a lot of weight or um i don't like uh, my arms Go to the gym, fix it in order for you to be more confident. You know what I mean? Um, things like that. Confidence is something that it's all within. Within. You see? So, moving from Yo, oh, this foundation is white. But I think it's because of, of the light. Because here in the mirror it's proper anyways moving forward 
you don't have to buy expensive high-end brand like your gucci lv um if you're someone who doesn't afford zara zara clothes in order for you to look the part guys when i tell you that mr price is fighting right left and center in order for us to blend with other kids ah oh, come on come on come on you playing you playing you playing you playing i'm saying it again you are playing and you are you are sleeping on mr price and mr price it's it's trying it be, it's it's based so um if i get pictures i'll put like pictures more my side thing so you guys can see what i'm talking about that i can wear um lv or gucci and still not look the part what else me that i'm wearing small street me that i'm wearing um mr price i am popping i am doing the most oh this camera guys is frustrating yeah me as i was saying me who's wearing uh mr price um the fix i look good and the confidence is on another level you will think i'm wearing clothes from zara or h&m or your aldo can't you know my girl is just wearing mr price jet and when you buy clothes guys don't have that thing yeah okay um i wanna buy clothes from zara only no from edgar's only no we don't do that we don't do that if you want to look the part you don't have to do that okay as we're still talking about clothes guys there's this there's this thing i am frustrated guys people who buy small clothes why Why do you do that to yourself? You know very well that you wear size 32, but you're still buying size 30. At that time, you're not even thinking of going to gym or cutting on eating. No shade, but... The only time that you can buy small clothes is when you're trying to motivate yourself to go back to gym and tell yourself that I need to um, wear this jean, you know? If you go to a store and you can't find your size, go and ask where you can find um, the size. Maybe maybe if you're in four ways, ask. They'll tell you, no, go to Sentence City. They're left with two or three um, items. Rather than buying small clothes. And if you bought something big, um, make sure that you go to the tailor. To fix to fix the problem because when I tell you that buying small clothes you won't feel comfortable you will keep pulling pulling down the dress or the skirt or the top in order for you to be comfortable so buying small clothes it's not Ayola it's not Ayola at all so you should stop you should stop buying small clothes it's not cute okay it's not cute at all so the next thing that I will tell you guys about is ironing your clothes. You should iron your clothes. Ha. You should iron your clothes. <laughs> like me. No, I don't, I don't like ironing clothes. So I know every time when I buy material, I check. Or okay, this one. I won't be ironing it every now and then. You know what I mean? But then you get people who just enjoy um, ironing clothes. And that's fine. And you get me who doesn't like ironing clothes. Which is also fine. But in order for someone to take you seriously. You need to iron your clothes. So, 
the next thing that I will talk about, guys, is hey, guys, lihuafs. <laughs> Guys, you must buy roll on deodorant, okay? You must buy roll on. How you smell, guys, your scent is very important. Mm, 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 mm. When we're still in, in uh, talking about how you smell, also brushing your teeth. Brushing your teeth. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Brushing your teeth. I can wake up now ne? and brush my teeth and go to, um, for example, maybe I go to like Jobek. Um, or for example, I'm quiet for, for like a while. The moment I open my mouth, guys, it doesn't smell, it smell as fresh as uh, like after brushing teeth. So where will I brush teeth? clean my teeth there you need to buy like a, a, a gum or holes you know it helps and then the other thing that annoys is how you chew the gum so if you someone if you know that you're someone that um you can't like chew properly just buy yourself like some holes just put them inside your bag you know but they're all on part guys ah, yeah, 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 yeah. if you are a if you are a um, female and um the roll on that you're using for male i mean a uh, female it's not strong you can use male um um roll on because it's 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 stronger than um the female female one and such things is something that you can't control, but you can, you can fix. Ha! Yo le huafa. Yo le huafa, guys. Le huafa. Ha 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 ha. Yo! Yo! Le huafs. Ay, 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 ay. And also, guys, if you have a friend that onkha le huafa, I always ask it myself. How do I deal with it? Because it's just a sensitive topic. How do I tell you that, you know, your, your luhafa, it's... How? How? Please advise me. How? 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 How do I tell my friend that, your friend, ah, today, your luhafa, it's doing the most. How do I tell my friend? And guys... You don't have to buy like expensive um what do you call this expensive roll on you do, you don't have to buy like the most the most expensive roll on um cologne perfume no you can go to you know the perfume those ones Motini, I will try and put a picture here. Those ones that twenty randi, your playgirl, your hoity toity, your what what? Those ones that you we used to use go second that. Those perfumes are the bombs dot com. Okay, if you can't afford like maybe your Zara perfume, your your Chanel, your Gucci, your what what perfume, you can use that one. Settle for their own. Ha. Huh. Yo. Yeah. Because that one is better than not having nothing at all. Just smelling like the worst. When you enter, everyone knows. Like they, they start coming with excuses. They're leaving because of you. I know. Mm -mm. No, no, no. How you, you smell your scent is very important. Your scent is very, very important. So guys, comment down there and let me know. How do you want to tell their friend? Family member, I see. <laughs> Family member, I see. You know, you can tell. But to me, we're going to
no sweetie no 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 it's not simple at all it's not simple at all guys so yeah guys i think i've said um quite a guys the other thing that i can tell you about is simple things like um respect i'm saying respect because you get um those people you looking nice ne? you looking hot you looking fly as as a flying fish ne? but if you don't have respect i i i i i we don't even see your beauty anymore we don't see on how beautiful you are on how you popping because you don't have an example ne? For example, you enter an um a um an a restaurant, ne? Doch, doch. You fighting with the waiter for what? For what? Those people are working. All you can do is talk to them. Got respect. Got respect. And this thing of you just because you're wearing like Gucci or you you're wearing nice clothes or like you just feeling yourself, you undermining other people. At the end of the day, we, we don't even see on how good you're looking because when I, you, I, I can, there is confidence in undermining other people. Why? Basically, what I'm saying is respect is very important because at the end of the day, you're in your 20s. You don't know if that person, you're going to meet that person tomorrow for an interview or what. That person will be interviewing you. So, you must respect other people. I know sometimes, some people, they just start you and you just lose it. Especially if you're someone who, who has like um, a short temper. <laughs> a short temper. So, yeah guys. So, I spoke about... Um, Wearing nice clothes, um, buying like nice proper clothes. It doesn't have to be expensive. Um, I spoke about de deodorant smelling good. I spoke about um, respect. I also spoke about ironing your clothes. Um, the other thing that I can say is... So guys, I forgot to mention the most important thing ever your crown your hair should always be on point it doesn't matter if you're rocking natural hair or wigs if your hair is not on point and you're looking cute who's going to take you seriously your hair should always be on point period so here's my finished look guys i hope you guys like it because i'm in love with it i'm in love with it so basically what i was saying guys is that in order for you for in order for people to take you seriously in your 20s and for you to you know in your 20s you need to follow the steps that i've been telling you guys it's simple there's no need for you to spend a lot of money in order for you to look expensive and smell expensive okay so guys please do subscribe share like and comment and not forgetting to follow me on instagram people always say that um fake but what what do they say fake it till you make it but i say um faith it till you make it okay you can like push your way up there if you have to wear mr price clothes in order for you to pop you know mr price is pushing guys small street is pushing and there's a lot of stores jet your edgars it's pushing even identity is expensive all right so we have your pqs like Look good, respect, smile, be happy and glow. So, bye guys. <laughs> bye.